here because in this video I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm packing for my trip to Cabo San Lucas. My name is Shaughnessy if you guys are new and I upload videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays so subscribe if you guys are new and go over to my Instagram if you guys want to see how the trip went or want to see the trip in real time. If you guys miss the trip and the trip is over and you're watching this video a little bit later there's actually going to be a highlight with all the stories saved over on my feed so you guys can go check it out if you want to and i'm really excited for the trip so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys swimsuits outfits that you can wear during the day outfits you can wear during like at night accessories a ton of great things for vacation and so head over to the description if you guys want to buy anything for yourself and yeah <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and let's just get into it. This outfit right here is probably one of my favorites and I think it's just because it's so fun and flirty. I love wearing really comfortable clothing as you guys will see throughout this video and so everything in this video is going to be very, very comfortable. This outfit right here is so cute because it has a little open back detail but it's also like a cute little halter top. Another thing that I love about this outfit is that it's just so movable. This would be perfect to wear during the day, something you can wear and like still look cute at the same time like while you're on the beach I feel like a lot of the time when people go on vacation they want to look cute but they like wear really constricting clothing and it's not really comfortable at all but you guys can see that these shorts they have like a really stretchy elastic waistband and pretty much every single pair of shorts or like pants that I wear in this video is gonna have an elastic waistband um, just because I feel like it's the most comfortable and on vacation you definitely want to be comfortable so this is one of my favorite looks super fun and flirty and yeah let's just get into the second look this next look that I have to share with you guys is probably something I would wear at night I feel like nighttime a lot of the time people will wear dresses um, or wear heels but I find that every single time that I go on vacation and wear a dress and heels I am so freaking uncomfortable like it's just like not fun. I know on my last trip to Cabo, I will link it below if you guys want to watch. Um, I went in August and I wore like a blazer dress and heels on one of the days that we were there and I was literally like dying. My feet hurt so bad and so this outfit I'd probably just wear with sandals. It's very like cute but and also elevated at the same time um, but I love how it's very neutral. It is very monochromatic um, and I think it's just a, re a really comfortable but also cute outfit and that's kind of what I try to aim for whenever I'm buying stuff for vacation. I feel like the bag just really like tops off this whole look because it's something that makes this whole look very summery and this look is also something that can transition into like fall or winter when you come back from vacation. I really try to make sure that all of my looks are pieces that I can also wear when I'm not on vacation and so you'll see a lot of neutral pieces in this video as well. This next look is probably a piece that or has a piece that is probably worn in every single vacation that I go on and I think it's just because it is the most like cute but also like comfortable piece that I probably own in my entire closet and it is this little skirt outfit that you guys can see here. Um, I love the skirt because it looks like a regular skirt but it's obviously a skirt and not a skirt um, and then this top right here just really adds the final touch to the look. I love adding tops that are just like, they look like they should be super dressed up with maybe like a pair of jeans or heels and I love adding that to a really comfortable piece. You guys can see that this skirt has an elastic waistband like most of the things that I wear um, but this top just really elevates the whole look. It is a very stretchy top and so um, you guys can see how it's an open back um, but it's something that's not going to be uncomfortable or you're not going to feel like you're just so sucked in that you like literally can't breathe and so that's what I love about this outfit. This next look has a top that is one of my new favorites to my wardrobe and it's from 437. I feel like they're like I don't know, whatever they make their clothing with, like their material is just so unmatched. It is a little bit on the higher price range for like very small pieces, but honestly it is so worth it. I actually have two swimsuits on the way from there and I will show you guys over on stories so make sure to go over to my Instagram during the trip or check out the highlights after the trip is over um, but I just love their pieces and so this little crop top one shoulder piece is from 437 um, I would definitely wear this when I'm not 
out on vacation but I feel like wearing it on vacation is just so perfect especially with this little satin detail that you guys can see I'm wearing over my shoulder um, this is also something that you guys could wear like when you're not on vacation you guys can see that a lot of these outfits are pieces that you can wear like on vacation and not and so that makes it really good for your budget because you're not just spending a ton of money on vacation and then just like having to never wear those pieces again. Um, you guys can also see that it's a very comfortable look and that is totally my vibe. This next look is what I'm gonna be wearing to the airport. And I wanna show this to you guys last just because I do feel like airport outfits are probably something that people can usually put together on their own, but I really like to look very nice when I go to the airport. Um, not disheveled, but be comfortable at the same time. I feel like whenever you're dressed really nicely, people just automatically assume that you're like a person of importance and I've had many times where I'm wearing like a really cute outfit and they'll move my seat up um, or they'll just give me a little bit of like an extra bonus while I'm on the flight which is obviously great for me and so if I can just really look put together I feel like it can not only boost my like mood or how I feel about like the day it also just makes me have like a little bit added bonus if there's like a possibility um, at the airport so I always try to look really nice and this whole set is actually from Fabletics so I will link all the pieces below so you guys can pick it up if you want to grab it for your own wardrobe. I am now going to share two swimsuits with you guys that I am bringing on this trip. I do have two swimsuits on the way from 437 and I'll show you guys over on stories. Hopefully they come in time. I did order them really really late but um, we will see if they come in time. I really hope that they do just because I know the material is unmatched but this first swimsuit I love it because it is a one piece and I'm not typically someone who wears a one piece but I feel like with this dramatic like drop neckline I think that it looks just very nice. It makes me like feel like I'm in my late 20s which is exactly what I want I want to feel very mature um, I want to look very like elegant and I feel like sometimes it's hard to find swimsuits that look that way and so this one was actually found on Zapple and that's where I get pretty much all of my swimsuits um, that I've like recently purchased 437 it will it'll be the first time I purchased a swimsuit from there um, so I'll let you guys know over on stories whether I like it or not but I love this one piece I think it's so cute and I think that it looks really really good um, to elevate like your swimsuit style especially because it has this little deep neckline this next swimsuit that I have to share with you guys is another one from Zaffle and the bottoms were actually from one swimsuit and the top was actually from another um, the thing about Zaffle is you do have to buy like the full set together but what's nice is that it's so inexpensive that you really like can buy probably 10 swimsuits and still get it for a very affordable price most of the swimsuits are like no more than $20 for top and bottom Bottom. Um, I have been literally shopping from there forever. You guys can look at some of my old videos if you guys want to. I will link them below. Um, but I just love Zaffle because I feel like you're finding such a good deal um, for the swimsuit and they are really supportive. I used to only shop at like Victoria's Secret Pink for my swimsuits and <laughs> those swimsuits are pricey. Um, and I think whenever they stopped like making swimsuits through Victoria's Secret, um, that's when I like I would still buy some from pink um, but I used to just buy them from like a Victoria's Secret line and not pink um, and that's when I just started to branch out a little bit and I started purchasing swimsuits at Zaffle and literally for the past probably four years it's where I picked up almost all of my swimsuits so I'm telling you guys if you haven't tried grabbing swimsuits from there you definitely should all right you guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I'm bringing over um, on vacation when I go to Cabo I will link everything below or similar pieces if something is not available I'm so excited to go on this trip I cannot wait it'll be nice to get some time with the hubby um, of course I will be documenting everything in a little vlog and along with um, documenting everything on story so you guys will see the whole trip and you guys can live vicariously through our little trip so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video and i hope you guys have a good rest of your day <laughs> bye